Hello, crafting queens and kings. Jacqueline Haley here, hand of the queen. Well, I'm taking a leap out and hope and luck that I capture and strike a suitable swap entry for Sharon of Elegant Creations. Sharon is hosting a loaded envelope swap challenge. That being said, I have crafted four loaded envelopes to submit. One will be a gift and I will not reveal the one I am gifting to Sharon because I want her to be somewhat surprised. I invite you to craft your loaded envelope for Sharon on her YouTube channel, Elegant Creations. Uh, this going to be a swap. You will need to go there and review the requirements. Um, let's see. Stay tuned on my channel to view the following three other loaded envelope submissions. So here we go. This is my very first time crafting a loaded envelope of this nature. So I have used a seam binding to uh, enclose the doors. On the um, doors, I used a uh, Martha Stewart uh, punch here. And one of the requirements, the main requirement is that you uh, have to craft it on white cardstock. So um, all of the entries that you will see are on white cardstock. I have used various uh, music note paper here, uh, a scrap of lace here, uh, scrapbooking paper. This is another Martha Stewart punch. Sharon uses that particular punch on a lot of her projects at the uh, door opening on this side, a rhinestone. Uh, there is a die cut butterfly, a various piece of scrapbooking paper here, another large die cut butterfly, the lace, rhinestones, uh, scrapbooking piece here. And at the top, there is a paper clip embellishment which I will show you. I don't know how this is going to film, so I will show it this way. I've used uh, scrapbooking, or well, I've used cardstock on the back, and this small scrap of um, scrapbooking paper uh, was gifted to me by Ruby of Little Books, and I just used a piece of it here with the rose on it, and there is a dangle a jewelry piece here. And I'm sorry, was I out of frame? A jewelry piece. And um, let me come up closer. A cameo. So that is the paper clip embellishment that will go with this particular journal. All right, let's go inside the doors. And there is a beautiful image of an African-American woman looking out through uh, Paris, her window at uh, the tower in Paris. And this image was gifted to me by Shirley Wilson and I have used uh, scrapbooking here with the um, scrapbooking paper and another die cut here. Same on this side. Uh, the Martha Stewart punch here across the top. And let's see, inside this uh, pocket, I have gifted uh, or used two tags. 
for journaling. This is a flocked velvet tag. Hope you're seeing this. It has a scallop punch on the end. And then this is another tag that I have crafted with a die cut butterfly, a circle punch of vintage music paper, and a scrap of the uh, scrapbooking paper on that side. Then on this side, there is another tag here, a small tag, and then another of the flocked velvet tag. All right, music book uh, vintage paper here at an angle and the scrapbooking paper. So I'm gonna leave those out. I'm not gonna try to put those back in. And then it closes uh, at the top. I have let me see if I can get it out with these gloves. I have uh, placed two large tags. And this um, African-American girl was uh, by Tsunami Rose. I would have used uh, my kits from uh, Sharon but at the time, I do not have any color ink in my um, copier. So everything that I have printed is in black and white. So that is one tag. I have a scrap of uh, vintage paper, I mean vintage fabric here, and a metal brad. Sorry, silk tag on the end. Hope you're seeing this. And on this one, I used a piece of a wedding embellishment. I believe that was from Donna Little. Another vintage um, fabric piece here. And when I say vintage, these fabric pieces were either 1991 or 1997. All right, and then on the side, there's a side pocket, I have two other tags. This one says, Things to Do, also by Tsunami Rose. Another vintage fabric on the side. Sorry, silk, to pull it out. Coffee stain back. And there is a postcard that I've included. And then I thought I had, yeah, I have another one. Another tag that also says things to do. with the vintage fabric uh, strip on the side. These are not as lovely as Sharon's, but they are my style. Um, they don't have to be uh, Sharon's. She featured the video of how to craft this door for the loaded um, envelope. And I did use her instructions and tried to the best of my ability to uh, craft something using that tutorial. So this is what I have crafted for Sharon. This is my number one submission. I will be featuring these in the order that I crafted them. So that was the very first one that I did and needless to say, I was very, very nervous about doing it. 
and hoping that I could get something suitable. So that is the first one. And I will be back again on another um, video to show the next ones. Thank you for watching and have a blessed week. Happy trails. We'll meet again very soon for number two. Goodbye.